the one therapy that tends to create a tremendous amount of fear for parents is chelation therapy. And, you know, chelation therapy is sort of a fancy word for heavy metal detoxification, which I know can also raise some concerns. And I think with chelation therapy, there's this perception that it's this sort of strange therapy, kind of sounds like chemotherapy. People are really unsure about what it really is. And, you know, it's one of those things that a lot of parents are concerned about. You know, people need to understand that chelation therapy or what, you know, what I call heavy metal detoxification therapy is really what it is is not a specific treatment for autism. It's a specific treatment for heavy metal toxicity. Whether it's in a child who's diagnosed with autism, whether it's in a patient with diabetes, whether it's in a patient with cancer or heart disease, it's pure and simple a treatment for heavy metal toxicity. So that needs to be clear. We have a number of different medications, um, one of them called DMSA, another is called DMPS, or something else called EDTA, and these are traditional medications. And really what they are is they're, they're little magnets, in essence. What they do is they attach themselves to these different heavy metals, like mercury or lead. And once they're attached, they continue to circulate, and they're excreted out of the body, primarily through the kidneys, through the urine, but many times through the digestive system. Um, and so it's actually, the chelation therapy is actually a very easy process. The difficulty comes in sort of what form you're going to implement for your child. Okay, we have suppository chelation medication, which works for some kids, and we have oral capsules, which work for others. So it really depends on the child. Some doctors actually will implement what are, what's called IV or intravenous chelation therapy, and that would really be the most direct way of putting one of these medications into the body. But it's not necessary for everyone, and it's really not practical for a lot of families, so it's not an option that's sort of commonly chosen.